is Johnny Wrestling or Johnny Takeover, as my shirt says. And listen, I want you to listen. Like, we're in a ball right now. It's crazy. It's loud. It's hectic. We're in New York City. But I want you to listen to No Hold Hard Network. Welcome back to the No Holds Barred Network with another episode of the Wrestle Forum. I'm your host as always, the EVP of Giggles, the Heartbreak Chick, the Queen of the Indies, Tiffany. And today I'm joined, I'm so excited with my girl, Queen of N.E. What is going on? Hey, Ma, what's good, girl? <laughs> Double trouble back together. I'm so excited. I know. It's been forever, I feel like, since we've been, like, together doing, like, a record. So it's 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 been some time. And, uh, you know, bring you on to the Wrestle Forum. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, guys, I'm so sorry that we tried to go live like four different times. And she did. <laughs> oh, it's uh, the joys of podcasting. <laughs> so I'm so sorry that we didn't get to do this live, but you're going to enjoy us off air. So here we are. Um, but yeah, Double Trouble is back together again. So <laughs> I'm, I'm all excited. We're We're ready. We, we're, we're ready to talk some wrestling and all that good stuff. So um, so before we get deep into it, because a lot of people know both of us, but for viewers that might not be familiar with you, Queen, can you like tell everybody a little about yourself? Sure. Yay. Well, hi, I'm Queenie. Uh, I'm the host of Queen's Court Podcast on Smart to Death Radio. And, um, you know, we have a little good time on the show, a little different. We do reviews, we do interviews, and um, not always like recaps of shows during the week, but, you know, we try to do different topics. I have a bunch of new series that are dropping about uh, different podcasts and what I think you should watch or listen to. So try to do something different over there in Queen's Court. And I'm a huge New Japan fan, huge AEW fan, huge GCW fan. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know, <laughs> Tiff and I have been to some shows together, yes. honey, and we went to our Tiffany's first yes. ever GCW show at the beginning of this year, which feels like five years ago. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. You know, it's like the best thing, right? Like to go, I got to experience with you and my my best friend Brad uh, to watch a GCW show. So that was so much fun. And yeah. we met actually like in person, finally at All Out in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> she snuck up behind me too. I sure did. I was she like, did. Hey, <laughs> it was great. It was great. So between like, I think you told me that you heard my laugh, and that's how like you followed the laugh or whatever. I did. <laughs> I love I it. Like, I hear her. I know she's here. I know that laugh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, you know, that's why the EVP of Eagles. So definitely. So but oh, my God. So I love everything with Queen. I've been on her podcast a million times. She has also been on the No Holds Barred Network uh, multiple times as well. I love having her come with me and do like the bigger name interviews with me for Ooh, Under the so Ropes. Fun. Those are fun. So Tony Depp and we did and Alex Zane we did. So I guess now we're going to have to go to a show together and go meet Tony Depp in together. <laughs> Yes. I like, feel oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> like we interviewed you like a while ago. I don't know if you remember, her, but <laughs> but it, it really, truly does feel like years and years ago, even though it's not 
It certainly feels like it, but that was so much fun. I loved our talk with Tony yes. and with Alex Zane, who we did get to see at that yes. GCW show, which was super fun. Oh, my goodness. We were that episode of Under the Ropes that we did with Alex Zane and he was in Japan and all we talked about was food, right? Like we had all yes. these questions, but it just kept going back to food. So it I got to get him back on so that me and Queen can, you know, have part two and maybe not talk about food. But I feel like. <laughs> Like that's not gonna happen <laughs> i feel like it's kind of our thing like yeah. he's so easy going and like so laid back and down to just have a conversation with you which is just one of the reasons why if you don't love alex zane you oh should. my god yes yes i love i love him he's on the list of husbands i love sure him is. to death i remember <laughs> like when when the show was over and i was like i have to meet alex zane i was like i'm not leaving this venue i was like until me and queen meet alex zane i was like it's just not happening and i swear i think security was ready to like pushed me up because there was like a rail that we were kind of standing like against I think Queen was outside and I wouldn't I refused to go outside because they weren't going to let you back in and I was I standing by the rails and then I saw him like downstairs I'm like Alex and then he saw me and he ran upstairs and I'm like wait I gotta get Queen and I'm like call get get your butt back in here I'm like I know well you know I wasn't just hanging out outside I was in the loving arms of yes. Effie our yes. daddy so <laughs> <laughs> that's the best place to be we were oh best my goodness place to be yeah uh, i mean you know <laughs> so at least I w it was for a good cause <laughs> yeah absolutely when it comes to like all the daddies and, and the list of husbands it's serious business and and you know like i wasn't leaving i just wasn't leaving <laughs> i know you're like nope it's not happening nope. you're like you guys have to go upstairs and you're like that's fine but we're still yeah waiting we're, we're waiting for alex and, and we, it was funny because i remember he hurt his toe during the match, I remember him posting the pictures that he cracked his nail. And then Blake said, you know, he said he blamed Blake Christian, I remember, on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> he said that Blake Christian didn't kiss his toenail or something. Right. <laughs> All the good times of GCW. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, hopefully, well, you know, things are getting better now. So mm. now we're getting, like, GCW back, which I'm so excited yeah. about. Um, so you, you got to be excited like me. Oh, girl, I'm so excited. I've been, you know, it, impatiently waiting. Of course, like, obviously, guys, understand that, like, I'm totally understanding of the COVID situation. And I'm not, like, forcing or wanting anybody to come back too soon. It's not that. I've just been so anxious to have GCW back in our lives. You know, when they did their last kind of live show they were the last really of the indies to be in operation yeah. with no fans before everything was totally shut down and they did the acid cup too oh my which goodness. was a, so good which was wildness and so much fun and we've all been kind of like okay so like when they come back <laughs> <laughs> yes it's gonna be nuts <laughs> oh like we need to go back because i think that they were planning originally to go back to osbury park right and yes. uh, we were talking about going and i know me and brad we wanted to go to the atlantic city show Yes. So like disappointed here, like I need my GCW and I need to and I have to do this with Queen because it was it was so great to like be with her at this show and us ducking the entire time, not trying to get killed by flying men. You know, so but <laughs> we were sitting and like the dives and the things that was going on right by us. It was crazy. So the next show that we go to, we have to make sure that there are light tubes because I was a little disappointed that there was no light tubes. No. <laughs> I know we did get cool stuff, but we didn't get yes. light tubes. And and I feel like you're missing out because yeah. I've been at a few GCW shows now that have had light tubes and. Uh, our pal Metal, of course, yes. has as well. He's had the spooky dust and Nick Gage's blood all over yes. him. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when I go to like the ICW show, especially like yes. the last one in January as well, because uh, that one was like their first no holds barred on ICW. And it was crazy. So Nick Gage was running around and blood all over the place. Now, girl, April, Brooklyn, Wolf of uh, Brooklyn. Oh, my God. Wow. I'm messing you up. I'm all screwed up today. Because uh, you know what it is? Kyle goes to meet your makeup. Was it? He called her the Brooklyn makeup artist or something. He called her and I started dying or whatever. So now, now I'm screwed up her name because now it's stuck in my head how like Kyle Hakaiga had said it. But <laughs> our girl April, she got blood all over her too at that show, the ICW show. And um, crazy. It's just, it's something different. And of course, it's not for everybody, but it's for me right. and Queen. <laughs> 
It is. And I have to say, that show that we went to was particularly fun. But next time, we need to sit front row, okay? Yeah, yeah, deal? definitely. Deal, okay. definitely deal. I think we were, like, late. I think that's what happened. It was, like, last minute. We were a minute. little late because we were trying yeah. to figure out if we could make it. Right, because it was uh, in, in, like, the middle of winter. So we were kind of iffy about it, and that's right. why. So, But, yeah, we definitely need front row. Be- Not that we weren't close, because when you go to oh, these we were shows, really close. we were really close. But we need to be closer and... Uh, Oswald, we we loved Oswald. Oh, Oswald, <laughs> we became friends that night. He we I friended him on Twitter and he followed me back and I was like, can we be like best friends? He's like, of course I would love that. Oh, he's like, so sweet. <laughs> his little adorable self and i was like how are you doing oswald because you just got thrown somewhere and he goes you know i really don't like this <laughs> it was, yeah. was right on top of yours and brad's chair yes it was amazing. <laughs> we were we were we were having a blast like oh my goodness so i just talking about this just gets me hyped and i know the love too. of the indies and i'm glad like you know queen's another one that's very big into the indie scene as well and i think it's funny um you know i talk i get like asked this a lot because it's funny uh like when i started more into the indie scene and like meeting and greeting wrestlers i was so like my heart would like drop and i'm like oh my god i can't talk to these guys and now like a whole bunch of them like are my friends and and it's 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 so crazy and i remember like a lot of stuff like when wrestlers follow you back and you're like oh my god so i'm sure you probably like feel like that too like even like now and you do a bunch of interviews yourself with a lot of independent wrestlers so i mean how's that feel for you oh it's the coolest (laughs) (laughs) it's so cool well because you know it's like the ultimate fan experience right yeah like you know we all love these people and support them you know buy their merch go to their shows and you know do the best that we can to to be vocal about their work on twitter and you know all those things and and then they, you know, you get to the pleasure of speaking with them. And right. that alone always floors me. I'm like, you guys, you really, you want to talk to me? Like, okay, great. <laughs> you know, I get like so excited about having everyone on because yeah. I love hearing their perspectives right. and their individual stories and, you know, getting a little bit of, um, you know, as small as my platform is, right. Uh, getting a little bit of uh, a shine on them to, right. to say, here's, here's a little tiny spotlight. It's not a big one, but it's enough to try to get more people to, to look into what you, what you have to offer in the yeah. ring and outside of the ring. And I think that that is like such a nice thing to be able to, co- it's my little way of giving back to right. these people that I really love. And what also is cool is it allows you to discover new people, you know, because I watched so-and-so now I know about X, Y, Z wrestler, which, right. you know, you might not have before. So it, it opens a lot of wrestling doors. And then when they follow you and you're like, Oh my God, like you like me kind of like, this is great. You like me enough to follow me back. This is awesome. I, I, like when, when Effie friended me back and I was like, excuse me, I think I, I'm having a moment. It's like, that's how much these people mean to us, yeah. you know, and it's and it's not to sound like creepy or anything like no, that, but no. we have so much love for them. And it's so nice when, you know, they like your stuff and, and want to, you know, open that door to follow you of, back. Of course. It's crazy. I think I think we both felt the same way when Alex Zane followed us. I was like, oh, oh my God. God. I was like, he <laughs> followed me back. Yes, honey. <laughs> He's so funny. I love like when he like responds to me with stuff. Like I think one of his tweets when he was he was making up his own challenges. I'm sure you saw all this on Twitter. He was making up yes. his challenges on TikTok and things. And the one where he pulled the hoodie when he jumped up and he pulled the hoodie and then he like grabbed it with his feet to co- pull completely off. And I was like, oh my goodness. And then he's like, your turn, girl. I was like, um, no. I was like, unless you want to just sit there and laugh at me. I was like trying to attempt to do this. I was like, it's not happening, you know? Yeah. So, but it's, it's great. I mean, I always tell people like, I I don't think a lot of people get the kind of experiences like I I've been getting and, and Queen gets them as well, too. And it means so much like on a personal level when you have this interaction, of course, because yes. they're just they're just like me and Queen and everybody yeah. out there. So me like I still have my fangirl moments. It's still there. You know, I'm always going to fangirl. Um, but <laughs> it's, oh, what what a what an amazing feeling that it is, and you know what I also find really great about 
queen is that when you do your Google Hangouts, when you watch some of these independent shows, and I'm in there with yes, her, and then she's got wrestlers in there too, and I'm like, look at <laughs> this. Do. I'm like, they're hanging out in her chat. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I know. And, and you know, every time I watch a synergy event, uh, shout out to our boy, Mr. Colin West, to yes. synergy for wrestling. Love we love him. our boy Colin, don't we? Um, every time I host a hangout for one of those, LSG just yes. like, drops in. Sometimes his girlfriend comes to and like uh, TJ Crawford came in and I was like, what are we like chilling? Like, what are we doing? Drinking? Like, what are we doing? He, he <laughs> always like, makes, this. he always makes me laugh in those chats. Like the we're stuff that we're like, here? we're going to get you booked. We're going to get you booked with Colin. All right. We got, we got the pieces here. We got you. We got you. <laughs> it's great. He's, oh, he's great. It just, it. Oh, it means so much to me, I, and you know I truly appreciate it. And I, again, I love getting up and close these with these guys, and and when they get signed, it's insane, right? Like I'm sure you've had people that you've interviewed on mm-hmm. like the independent level that's went mainstream, and I can only imagine like how you feel as well. Like I'm, I get ecstatic. Yeah, so. you do. Well, you you have su- you're on the pulse. I mean, you are the queen of the indies, and you're on the pulse of all that stuff. And you know what I really value about uh, what you do with your under the ropes and indie talks and this show is is bringing such a spotlight onto indie wrestling. But you always tell me like, oh my god, look out for so and so if you don't know him, or you even if you don't know them directly, you know someone who does know them, right. which I think is really cool. And uh, you know, you call a lot of things <laughs> that were happening, like oh, watch out for this guy, and then all of a sudden, oh, they're in. AW, yep. <laughs> you know, and and that is so cool just to watch their rise right? and run through the independent scene and just like work up to whatever and wherever that contract is 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 the coolest. Like you know how much you and I love Darby Allen and yes. we loved him on the Indies and we were yeah. like you specifically we were talking about him. One of yeah. the first times you and I were talking actually yeah. was about him. And how much like he had a such a huge presence on the Indies, and, and you were like, "Dude, he's going places." Yeah. And sure enough, yep. where is he? Right? <laughs> you know, it's, it's like crazy. That story though, Tiff, is so heartwarming. Yeah. To watch and like, oh my God, now he's on our screen on Wednesdays, and like all these other yeah. guys that that we've watched and gals, you know, or MLW, yeah. or Impact, or or wherever, like Chris Bay, right? And yeah. It's just, stuff it's insane it's oh my god i i just i love it and i love you know again like meeting like the new guys in the scene and and that's why like i want to keep covering that because even like the smallest guys you know everybody has a story and you don't know you don't know who's going to get called up and you don't know where they're going to go so but a lot of them are so humble a lot of these wrestlers and oh my god like so proud like leroy green i'm i I know you watch dark and I just had him on. I had to have him on for part two of Under the Ropes. And here's a guy who, you know, I watched in House of Glory. And I've just watched him evolve within the last year alone. And between going to Evolve and going to Dark. And here's a guy that, like, I hung out with. And, like, we've gone out to dinner. And we've, uh, you know, we, we with a bunch of friends. And we've gone to, like, Barcade, uh, which is a video game uh, bar in, mm-hmm. in Brooklyn, New York. And just, like, hang out and play video games and just bullshit. And it's so... You know, like, I am so grateful to these guys, and I'm so proud of them. And, you know, I can only always say that to people, like, you know, you never know. Like, go ahead. Don't be afraid. Go up to these people. Go talk to them, because they're just yes. like us. Killer Cross. Killer Cross. Oh, my God. Right? Come on, girl. Like- <laughs> talk about the most humble person. But when you look at him from afar, you're like, wow, you are very large and very intimidating, and I'm scared. But, like, he's so humble. He has a beautiful handshake, by the way. Very soft hands. I'm like, whoa, this is surprising. You must use moisturizer. Like, for real. It's It was, like, weird. But, like, in a good way. I was like, oh, okay. And, uh, you know, so kind. And, and, and he actually, like, truly listens to you. Yeah. Like, when you talk. And he, he will engage with you in it. And not just, like, a, oh, hey, what's up kind of conversation. Like, you yeah. know, you'll share a story with him. And he will really listen. Yeah. He's an active listener. I think that's the coolest. And now look at him killing it with Scarlet on NXT. Oh, my God. I watched the, you know, the paper. Well, most of the pay-per-view the other night. And I was like, because I always love the takeovers. I haven't been, like, following NXT as much as I used to. But I'm like, okay, I have to watch this. Because here's someone, again, that I followed in the indie scene. And, 
like even Scarlett Bo- Bordeaux and it's just so insane like now you're on WWE it's nuts you know yeah. so oh my goodness but I I can't I can't get enough I stress it to everybody you know just be cool with with them like a lot of them will sit there and talk to you and it's yeah. such a humbling uh experience that that I get and you never know like but just the feeling alone from it I mean god I could keep talking about like indies over and over oh, and I over know. again I know, but- <laughs> can't help it Uh, no it's not a bad i love it like this is like one thing i could just sit there and um you know so since like with everything going on in the pandemic what have you like been watching besides like aw and wwe on tv since it's been kind of like every week it's been rough for wrestling yeah Yeah, obviously in the entire world but in our little bubble here i feel like whoa like we lost a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what do I do? To be honest, I watched a lot of old things. Um, I went back and watched a lot of New Japan, and I watched some like old Wrestle Kingdoms. But thank God for IWTV. Let me tell you, they've had some of the coolest uh, additions of, of promotions. They just added BJW uh, today, I think. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, they have such a breadth of a, of a library. And they have been playing over and over old things that I've never seen before. And just kind of getting into, like, different promotions or seeing shows that I, I just hadn't caught from right. 2019. And they're like, oh, so-and-so is playing tonight. And they book the weekends. Like, they are they are jam-packed full of wrestling shows and it's like an indie treasure trove. Yeah. So I, I really have been watching that. I've been keeping my eye on the Seattle scene. Mm. Um, there have been some wrestlers there that I have just been like, who, who are you? <laughs> How do I not know you? I need to know you. I want to know more about you. Yeah. Um, and I just am like very interested in that. Um, and of course, kind of going through the GCW shows that I that I missed, because sometimes they have shows during the middle of the week. Right. And I just can't get to it. Um, so much wrestling. <laughs> well, see, there's the other thing. There's so much wrestling to get through al- <laughs> alone, never yeah. mind uh, everything else. But yeah, IWTV, Power Slam, yes. and uh, New Japan World have been really kind of rolling me through this pandemic it's season. Great. But I I feel like AEW um, really kind of stepped up the game for us in the no fan era. Yes, they did. They did. So great. And like even just them in the crowd is building storyline, I feel, which is great. And so like important. And you might not think about these things, but it's so important. And I love it. I love it. It's just the heckling. It reminds me of the things that I would do at indie shows like they're doing. So (laughs) it's so important, right? They feed off of us the fans so even the AEW roster it's it's oh my god it's (laughs) i love it i i can't i can't get enough of AEW. um but i was watching what was i watching i went to brad's house this weekend oh my god i forgot we were watching i think we're watching iwtv but he was saying too like with fight tv you just go back and you can catch up on stuff it's impossible right it's impossible to watch everything like i think now we're starting to get shows back um a lot of a lot of promotions are doing drive you know the drive-ins uh so which is pretty cool cool concept really really cool concept um Oh my goodness. Like, like my, my, like, I'm just thinking all the shows, I think a lot of them are going on the 20th of June. Yeah. And there's a lot. There's a lot. lot. And that's what I'm saying. You, even, even if you go to one, there's still other shows running the same time. It's how do you keep up with everything? You can't. It's like impossible. It is. It's hard to do. But, you know, that's also the beauty of being a wrestling fan. It's like, not every show you're going to see and that in its own way makes them special, right? Yeah. You, you won't always get to go to the show. You won't always get to see everything live. Um, and, and that kind of preserves the fun. And, uh, you know, you got times like, uh, unfortunately that happened now where you're locked in your house. So no, that's a good time to catch up. I guess. Yeah, definitely. Hey, and guys, I have a promo code for you guys since we're talking about power slam TV as well. So you can enjoy one month free with the code. No holds free. So thank you guys at power slam TV for that. 
I was going through that app too. And I was like, this is pretty cool. Like I, and again, I like the fact that either you could look for a certain promotion um, or you can look for a particular wrestler. So I think I found like, I found a bunch with Alex Zane. I found a bunch with Anthony Gangone. And like, I was finding promotions that I'd never even heard of. And I was like, this is pretty cool. And then the good thing is with me knowing a lot of the wrestlers, I might not know who these wrestlers are. And like a lot of them will go back and tag the other wrestlers for me. So then I can give them oh, a follow. That's helpful. So I'm like, oh, thank you. You know, like I didn't, I couldn't find this person because sometimes it's not always the actual name of the wrestler. It could be something completely right. different. So I'm like, okay, I, I don't know. I'm not tagging. I can't. I feel bad. I'm sorry. But I've had that. Um, what I've noticed on Twitter as well with a lot of the wrestlers, like they'll tag the other wrestlers like, oh, I, I this match was good, but you should watch this match with this. So I've had that, too. Well, they're tell me what to watch, which is great. So. That's even better. I love that. I love when you get recommendations that way. Yeah. Oh, only the, only the best. I, I love it. I could just, yeah. oh man. <laughs> I know girl. I know. <laughs> wow. All right. So what are you looking forward to the most? Like since like, again, we're coming out like soon, like of quarantine. I know New York's worse. Um, yes. but I mean, I think you're doing pretty good in Connecticut, right? Like, we're, so we're a little bit ahead of you. Yes. We're a little bit ahead of you. Um, but I, I'm most looking forward to, this is tough because GCW show on the 20th is just going to be a, an, an enormously fun experience. And then of course they're doing the backyard show. Oh, I know. So excited. Like happy freaking independence day. <laughs> Have a great time. Uh, get your white claws girl. Cause yes. it's going to be crazy. Oh my God party but like <laughs> last night new japan came out with a press conference and said they're coming back starting monday the 15th they're gonna have some shows going on and then they're bringing back the new japan cup which was of course supposed to happen during all this insanity and, and they're tweaking it a little bit and doing some different changes oh i'm so glad new japan is back yes. i'm really looking forward to it but I feel like everything rolls into another. So we have like the GCW shows. We have New Japan. Um, the finals for New Japan are just after the Fighter Fest yes. uh, event with AEW have, uh, which is not a pay per view. Okay, this is like cool. Yeah, uh, on weekly television, which is amazing. And then plus we have all these GCW shows announced. The ICW yes. show, like girl, synergy, this is like coming in it's, hot. It's Christmas. <laughs> it is Christmas. <laughs> I, I saw even like Matt Tremont is his promotion H2O was having a whole bunch of things that they've been working on um, I've heard some of my wrestling friends like they're gonna travel to train because they can't in New York um, which is kind of cool but yeah there's 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 a lot like 4th of July is going to be huge there are a lot of shows running that day a lot so I'm going to have to have the tablet the computer <laughs> Have the TV going on to watch. How, all... how are we going to do this? I'm like, oh I don't God, know. And then, to... and then my phone, I'm going to have to be in Queens Google Hangout. Like yes, I, girl. <laughs> we have Colin show. Oh, oh my, oh my God. Colin show synergy Colin wrestling. Show on the 11th. Good golly. We have that going on. Oh, man. And we also have, um, the garden state invitational angel and, uh, later, as well like that's gonna be seriously dope um you know good good things are coming they I are mean, I'm, I'm so happy oh. but we are gonna have to be multitasking yes You're right it's, it's, i need all the screens yeah like, it's, it's impossible like okay the podcasting computer the laptop like we're just gonna keep going <laughs> like like okay which husband is on which screen right now so i can pay attention to spreadsheets <laughs> It's really like hard, but thank goodness. And, and that's why I always tell people like if there's something you don't like, there's something else for you out there. Absolutely right. So there I I always tell people to go in with an open mind. And I really believe it made me a better fan. That's the yeah. truth. I really feel like it's made me a better fan, even with podcasting. And it's just opened my eyes as as a person to to watch wrestling very different. Yeah, so. that's the that's the best part about it. If you really truly take a step back and say, you know, I'm just gonna watch it and see what happens. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. Right. It makes you a better, well-rounded fan. And I also think it makes you a better, uh, you know, fan in terms of like interacting with people. Yeah. You know, you may not like someone else's opinions, but if you're on the side like you were just discussing, of having an open mind and watching everything and kind of seeing how you feel, uh, it makes you better. In, in groups when you're engaging in you know differences of opinion right right oh oh my goodness so so much fun 
so so <laughs> yeah. oh my god i'm just like thinking of like all the promotions and stuff and i'm kind of like sad so i hope we still get somewhat of a summer because i feel like last summer was probably my best summer with wrestling yeah. Um, because there was i again i've opened my eyes to so many different promotions and it took you know you can i always tell people like you can follow one particular wrestler that you're a huge fan of and like it will bring you to other promotions that you weren't aware of and i I've, yes. I've been open to fam uh f- you know family fun ones that are pg then you have of course like our gcw shows and there's so many (laughs) different different aspects of wrestling that oh i just can't get enough but oh so let's talk a little bit about the all-out challenge that you started yeah Yeah, let's go (laughs) let's talk about that (laughs) tell everybody that may not be familiar with it of uh the all-out challenge Sure. So, you know, last year, Adam Hangman Page, in a, in a Being the Elite segment, uh, was getting made fun of for being, you know, not being ready for full gear and, uh, you know, to wear it. And we love our, our Hangman. And that was so sad, but it inspired this full gear challenge, right, to get your body uh, right and start working out and exercising and dieting and taking care of yourself so he could show up, you know, in, in full gear. And it really took off the community made it a hashtag and he was like, whoa, this is a thing. Like, let's do it. It turned out to be in an episode of being the elite later. And, you know, it it became a whole movement. And since then there hasn't been another one. Right. And as double or nothing was approaching. And obviously since we're all stuck inside, you know, I've been really going hard on my workouts and working out and eating better, Um, you know, being at home. And it kind of made me uh, uh, grasp onto that. I'd always worked out, but never quite as hard as I needed to. So I used this opportunity to do that. And then I was thinking to myself, why isn't there another full gear challenge? Let's do the all out challenge, right? Because it's double or nothing time. We'll right. use that as a start point. Three months later is uh, is all out at the end of August. And I was like, oh, this is it. Let's do it. And for me, I feel like the all out challenge is whatever you make it. I know some people feel a lot of pressure um, you know, if they subscribe to a challenge, they don't like that kind of thing. They would like to freestyle a little bit more. And that's not what the All Out Challenge is. What it really is, is to just to form a network of support uh, within our wrestling Twitter community to provide recipes or inspiration or fitness workout routine and, and kind of not really hold each other accountable, but more be there as a, as a support network to say, yeah, you got this. Let's go. And then you can also look at what everyone else is posting underneath the hashtag to see kind of, you know, their plan. So really it's a focus not only on physical wellness, but eating better and your mental health as well. You know, I I feel really strongly that, you know, before you ever start a workout regime or a diet, you need to be mentally in the right spot because you could say, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then, you know, you're eating bonbons till 2 a.m. and that doesn't really help you, right? We all need that sometimes, by the way. But, you know, that doesn't really help you commit to your goal. So kind of this idea of physical, emotional, mental wellness and focusing on that for the next three months. And it's been over two weeks now. And, you know, we have some steady participants, yourself included. Thank you so much. (laughs) And uh, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, I will be dropping my first episode about the All Out Challenge with Tanner from Headlock Talk, who has an enormous amount of experience um, with fitness and clean eating. So he has a really cool perspective and some tips. And we kind of just talk about both of our journeys as not professional uh, wellness or health uh, fitness people. (laughs) Just kind of, you know, two regular people. Uh, talking about what they're up to. So um, that's kind of what the All Out Challenge is. And I'm so glad that so many people are taking it upon themselves, like our pal uh, Mischief from Heels Pops and Chair Shots and Ashley from Dojo and Dynamite are, are jumping in as well. Awesome. That's so awesome. I was like, oh, yes, I need to get on this because this quarantine is kicking my butt. <laughs> yeah, girl. Quarantine 15, 15, oh. we don't know her. And oh, if you oh. do, we're getting rid of her. Ass. I'm like, I need to I need to stop. I was like, here we were. Like you talked about the full gear challenge and we were all on board. And yes. it really was a good thing. And I did. I lost a lot of weight. It was such a great thing and and you made more friendships which i loved about it too is there was so there was so much connection with it and you just the friendships that i've made because of it you know have become so solid for me 
Um, yeah. And you need that support. You definitely need the support. And I, I love it. And I definitely been trying. It's it's hard. I'm trying to get back into it. It's like I feel like, you know, it's that first week that always kind of like kills you. Yeah. Uh, you know, trying. You're struggling like, OK, now I got to watch what I eat or I'm going to work out more or whatever. So mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. personally, it was funny because um yesterday i was talking to a friend and we were talking about you know dieting and he was telling me that he feels that he's in the best shape of his life and i have a dog that i walk four times a day because i want to walk you know i was like with me having you know nerve condition in my legs and everything i don't want to get stiff so i i probably don't have to walk my dog as much as i do but i do it also not only for him but more for me um and then I don't know. I wasn't oh, now that I'm home. Right. Like I'm not hitting those. You know, I have a Fitbit and I'm not hitting the steps. Right. So we were right. talking about this yesterday and I'm like, you can't go to the gym. I was like, that's that's not happening. I was like, but walking is probably one of your best things you can do. And I was like, I'm not hitting my damn 10,000 steps because I'm stuck in a small apartment. I was like, there's only so much you can walk back and forth. And and then he was like, well, you got to force yourself. And I was like, my dog is sometimes difficult and he doesn't want to walk sometimes where I want to walk. And he doesn't. He's like, well, go out anyway. So I wind up going down to the beach with him yesterday. And then like we walk from his house to the boardwalk and we walk back and it was crazy. But by like like noon, I already hit the 10,000 steps. I was like, oh, okay, like this works for me. (laughs) See, there you go. (laughs) So it was like an incentive. So then even today when I got up. I was like, okay, I like this idea. And then I was like, you know what? I took the dog and I put him in my car and then I went to the park and I walked. They have a dog park, but it's closed, clearly, uh, with everything going on. But I was like, I could walk around the park. I was like, just because I can't bring him to the dog park. I was like, that doesn't mean. So I walked over and it was like a beautiful waterfront. And I was like, you know, it's kind of like clears your head. And like you talk about mental health as well. It's, it's, It's great for it because we are in stressful times right now. We are, we are. And exercising, you know, can help you feel better. Even if you're not, you know, like going super hard like my pal Tanner is (laughs) because he's a freaking machine, man. Wait till you hear this episode tomorrow. He (laughs) just like stuff I could never dream of doing. Um, But, you know, it's just taking a small step forward. What what I've really noticed about it is how good I, I feel now that I've been working out solidly for two and a half months and yeah, I've lost weight, but more I've lost inches and I can notice it in myself. And I think once you see those kind of gains, you really truly feel like, oh, wow, like I could do this. And this isn't so bad. Like, yes, there are workouts that kick your butt and you feel like it, it, you're going to pass out. But right. it's worth it in the end because you, you feel better about yourself even after one workout you're like yeah i did that and you have to give yourself those congratulations because listen sometimes your girl needs a piece of pie and i'm gonna do it (laughs) you know because listen like you don't want to be robbed of the things that you like you just have to do in moderation that's all yeah my friend was saying that too yesterday and he was saying like he gave up drinking you know he was like i stopped drinking he was like and he's like that played such a huge part he said in his weight loss journey and he's like you don't realize it he was like but he was like it's true and he was like i rather had like indulge every once in a while with like a slice of pizza or you know maybe a piece of cake he was like then like drink all the time whatever so and and like i said he told me that he's like in the best shape of his life and one of my other best friends too like she she's been doing her thing and i think uh with her like she had a little bit of a health scare and it kind of forced her to start losing weight Mm. and i can't believe how much like she's i think she's down like 60 pounds within a couple of months and i'm like damn girl i was like look at you so it's like i'm I'm so proud of her to see that. Um, it, uh, it, it's it, like you said, it's great. And like to see yourself also like in clothes that maybe you never thought you could fit into or yeah. oh, it's such an achievement. I remember like tossing so many clothes out of my closet yeah. when I had lost a lot of weight. And I was like, I don't want to go back to that. And it sucks because like I said, we're quarantined and a lot of us are going through that. It's like you're gaining the weight back because oh, you're not sure. moving around. Right. So uh, that you're just becoming couch potato. So I'm forcing myself to move more and like I might not be able to do all the workouts at home. And of course, don't kill yourself. Right. Like, don't kill yourself. Moderation Moderation is so important. And of course, like everybody else says, watch what you eat. So you're you like you posting like they're like (laughs) thirst traps to me. Your food. Because 
I'm like, I'm just gonna leave and go to Queen's house and eat at her house. I'll bring some wine or something or a little bit of the Come bubbly, on, you know, because yeah, a bit of the bubbly, I'll feed you. <laughs> you're making me hungry with your damn pictures. <laughs> like, I'm, and I always hit her up. I'm like, okay, recipe because that looks yeah. good, you know. And I've always shared <laughs> recipes too with a bunch of friends. Like, I'm like, look at this, okay. look at this. But then every once in a while you see like the the like I like to call it food porn with with the with the uh, bad stuff porn. too, and you're like, damn. <laughs> It looks so good, but I lo- I love posting food. I love to cook anyway. I've I've just barely started my new series on YouTube called Queenie Cooks, where I give instructions. So first, I did chicken cutlets for a sandwich that I was making, and mm-hmm. I, I was teaching that because you know you're Sicilian, you know yeah, I chicken know. cutlets are a staple in our life. Oh yeah, <laughs> like if you don't have a good chicken cutlet. You're not Italian. That's just how it goes. (laughs) So I was like, all right, we'll start with that one. And like, you know, I've been doing whipped coffees and, you know, whatever. And then I think, you know, I have some plans for like the next recipes that I'm going to show. But I love to post food because I I love food. And sometimes I love it too much. And and that's all right. (laughs) You know, you just got to keep it healthy. But the meat boys over here on Twitter are kind of the inspiration for for it all they post all of these delicious meals and everything that they grill it's unbelievable and oh, i was like man. dude yeah, someone else likes food as much as me I'm <laughs> in <laughs> that's what i'm saying it's like food porn i'm telling you like between all the little chats that i'm in like group chats as well it's hilarious because i i mean every once in a while i'll be like oh i'm gonna make this and then i'll drop it and then of course me like i know like i love to cook right and yeah. Uh, I'm known like what a lot of and a lot of wrestlers like uh, they know I bake right I remember like when I got hurt years ago and stuff and I was like I was looking for a distraction to kind of not think about the pain that I was going through and everything and I was like okay I don't really bake and I'm gonna teach myself to bake because of course you got to be precise right so right. everything has to be to the T like you can't go more you can't go less like there's a reason for it with baking so it's different so I'm known for my cookies. So now it's like every, it's like Tiff, where those cookies at? Tiff, where's those cookies at? So they, cause they love me during Christmas time because I, great looking cookies. (laughs) Oh my God. I think even Brandon Cutler's wife, I remember, I think I sent her some recipes that I had to. (laughs) (laughs) It was, oh my God. Cause I do cookie fest and I dedicate a day, a full day. And I bake all day in my kitchen all day. Like it smelled like you want to be in my house like that oh, day, yes, girl. like like legit, like all day. Like I get up and, and I'm boom, I'm off. I'm cooking cookies or whatever, and all different kinds. It's not like okay, you just make a chocolate chip or whatever. Like right. it's whatever, and I'm always adding a new cookie every year. It's an experience over there. It yeah. is. <laughs> so I remember, like I had all these cookies, and then like I give them as Christmas gifts to people. It's so funny and. Uh, like I get like pretty baskets or whatever at buckets. They had like cool, cute little buckets or whatever. And nice. and I put like all different kinds of cookies in them. So it's so funny. Like instead of like doing presents, that's my gift is homemade cookies. So so I it's so crazy because people will write me and be like, How do I get on this list <laughs> to like eat your cookies or whatever? But I was even bringing them to the wrestling shows too. And I was like, here, nice. like, here, like, here you go, guys. Like, you know, I appreciate you. You know, here's oh. some damn cookies. Or whatever, but oh my goodness, it's just. Uh, but I did it too here recently. Our friend uh, Ray, who's on the channel, and April as well. Like they came to my house, and we were yes. sitting. And I remember it was like midnight, right? We're, we're sitting in the house and we're bullshitting, and I'm like, I want some cookies. They're like, Tiff, it's midnight. Like, ah, whatever. I got up and I went into my kitchen, and I'm making cookies from scratch. It's not you know tall house. It's from scratch. They're like, Tiff, what are you doing? Like, I think I had one cookie. I just wanted one. <laughs> and I'm sitting there baking for one cookie and they're like oh my god these are so good <laughs> <laughs> you're like I know <laughs> I was like that's why I made them I was like that's why I made them at midnight it's so it's so bad <laughs> bad habits you know with this but that's all right girl hey it's all good right it's all good fun and work hard play hard that's it and look again like here's another episode and we're talking about food again <laughs> Listen, we I can't help it. It's in our DNA, dude. I'm telling you. I can't help it. Where's Alex Zane when we need him? I know. Oh, so my good. goodness. The, <laughs> speaking of tacos, like, I don't know if you saw, but Double or, double or Nothing, I, I had a couple of people over. Yes, and girl. I, I found from Instagram, somebody had posted about this taco place out 
East in Suffolk County, Long Island. And I'd never been there before. And it was kind of, it started from Cinco de Mayo because, you know, they, of course, that's, you know, you have tacos, right? On Cinco de Mayo. So they had this box. It was like a build your own taco thing. And they had a small box and they had a big box. And it became a thing, right? Because you can't really go, you can't sit and eat anywhere. Um, right. So this is a great opportunity. Like if you have a couple of friends over, you don't want to cook or anything. And you can buy this box. So you can do the small box, which is like one protein. And then the big box is two proteins. Um, and then it gives like more, like more tortillas and more, you know, lettuce, cheese, you know, whatever. And right. I was like... Alex Zane all over this. <laughs> like, oh my God, yeah. So I drove out there and I picked up this box and I made, I had to record a video for Zane because I was so excited and I knew he was going to be so proud of this box. <laughs> Oh yeah. And he was like, he <laughs> retweeted it. it. He's like, I'm so proud. He goes, but I'm so jealous. He's like, right now. <laughs> I know, right? So, oh man! So I feel it like awesome. Oh, it was so good. Oh my goodness! It was, oh. Even even everybody who was here, they're like, Tiff, we got to order this again. I was like, yeah, definitely. I was like, I want to try the other proteins because I think we did a chicken and we did a steak. But then they have like, you know, you could do the beef or you could do this. Uh, oh, you boy. know, like the pork. Or, like I think Queen's gonna be taking a trip to me when uh, everything's back to normal or oh, whatever the new normal girl. is. It's happening. I got you. I got you. When you come here, we're gonna we're gonna go see some wrestling, and uh, it will never disappoint with us. So, but I'm looking forward to that. So these shows need to come back because we need to go screaming and diving from hiding from these guys from their dives. I know. I know. <laughs> Wearing a hat, like a big construction hat, <laughs> or a helmet for a bike. Don't maybe, <laughs> maybe we need some like you know glow sticks or something that would like put it like on our head like here don't don't dive here oh, like here's the light area will be like air traffic control no <laughs> no go this way go get that guy or whatever but uh i know matthew justice almost got us all bloody i was like listen man <laughs> for me with that Swing in a purse. Every, what are you doing? Every time I think of him, I think of you now. Like oh, I, that's oh. that's your boy. And I am so, my boy. I'm yeah. so excited that he's gonna finally be at ICW. Oh yes. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I, what a match too. It's gonna be really fun. Oh man. I I can't. I, I swear I love all these uh promotions. There's so many great great promotions and i i gotta come up to you because i need i need to come to ct because i need to see like what's out by you yeah please northeast and and so many other ones uh up and around this area in massachusetts too as well we should definitely go there i want to and... go to a beyond wrestling well it's that's like a that's bucket what I list think we should do yeah. yeah because i i'm so you know it's such a shame because the way that i ended off 2019 uh, I had said I have a bucket list for 2020 and of course like I'm still gonna sit here and I'm gonna be all in for all the promotions that I you know support but I, because of the fact that of all the new promotions that I found out last year now I want to dive deeper again I want I have a bucket list of shows sure. that I want to go to and beyond wrestling is one of the main ones and uh, I think it was PWG is another one like I, yes. I wanted to go this year so I feel like we lost like half the year and then I'm not gonna see this and I'm not even sure like when the fans are gonna be able to go I know I know in like a normal type capacity I, I'm not really sure Tiff it's it's sad and you know we had planned to try and go to to New Japan yeah. at the end of August but that's not happening and I don't know. It might not be until 2020, which is so sad. But, you know, the safety of everybody is really what's most important. But, hey, if they continue to do these drive-in type shows, I'll just sit in my car and watch. I don't care. Yeah, I got to I gotta do one. I've been a little leery to go, um, you know, at first. It's, it's great concept. Um, yes. But I've just, I've been, you know, I want to feel a little bit comfortable to, like, go to these shows. I agree. So I agree. it's just, like, Not it's more yet, of a safety. Yeah. And and I feel right. bad. But I'll still support. I will definitely still support. I will be home and I will be watching these shows. So, uh, you know, I definitely will I'll definitely do that. But it's such a shame because it's, like, you can't even. And I, I get it because that's the whole point of a drive-in to is to sit in your car but it's kind of sucks too it's like i'm wondering how that's really gonna play off like sitting in the front seat and yeah. watching like what's it gonna look like like eye level right. 
And right. uh, you can't even go outside like with like chairs in front of your car and watch. Yeah, can't even have that. So, you have to stay in your car. Yeah. So I'm really curious like how and I, I like I said, I think it's a great concept. It's cool. Um, so maybe one day I'm just I want to feel comfortable, especially with me being in New York and it being so bad here. And I think yes. that was another reason that stopped me from buying tickets because then the curfews were going on. And I'm like, oh, my luck, like I'll get pulled over and, you know, like I'll get a ticket to go to these shows yep. and usually of course people don't like new yorkers they start seeing those new york plates they don't like you so i'm like uh yeah so me coming home at like 11 30 at night from another state uh you know with the curfew going on and all this uh i think i will wait so but i will gladly watch at home and support and tweet and, and be in queens queenie chats and in, in the yes. google hangouts so we can talk to yeah. some wrestlers <laughs> Fight TV That's does right. one too, and then you see a lot of the wrestlers in them in them too. Yeah, I, I see you. Fun. You're you're in and out of both. I see you. You're yep. like in the fight. It's like you Double see like duty. <laughs> yeah. You see like Matt Tremon in there, and yeah. Um, yeah. Oh man. And, and they're super fun because you know that's another cool way you get to connect with these guys. Yeah. And he's super nice to to chat with and and be in and around and um you know fights such a great uh, such a great service. Oh, and, yeah. and they've been really kind to me. And hopefully these giveaways are coming back now that things are on the upswing. Yes. So. <laughs> oh, great stuff. Great stuff. Yes. So, but I'm I'm looking forward to it. So hopefully, you know, we see it. Uh, we we see it all soon, and uh, and then we so. you and me can be together again to go watch these shows. But again, we'll definitely do that. We gotta definitely do another show together, and then we of course yeah. we gotta do like an indie talks or a Queens Court that we sit and talk about it. Because the last one, like you said, we talked about was the GCW, and we were so excited. So we need to we need to have that. Um, yeah and we saw new japan together so hopefully yeah. at least they'll come back next year if all they is well and then we'll get year and i'm telling you someday tiff aew is gonna have one of their major pay-per-views at msg and we're going oh yes done sold let's go Sign like oh my goodness <laughs> i oh like I love it. Like Kyle's gonna have to come down, and 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 whoever else. Like forget it. Like JPQ. JPQ up, let's go. Yes. <laughs> like the crew is just gonna have to come. Like we're rolling in with Brad and Ray and April. It's oh my goodness. Yeah. Those are the best. It's gonna be a nice reunion when we get to do when, that. You know. When you can go with a bunch of friends to a show, uh, it's uh, everything. It's. Uh, like, I will go to shows by myself. I don't know about you, like, if you've done that, but I've gone to shows by myself. Yeah, I've done and, it before. And it's fun, but it's not as fun as when you go there and you're with, like, 10 to 15 people in the Absolutely. front row. You roll in a squad, and it's so much fun. <laughs> and you just kind of take over your area, and it, and it rules. Yeah, like, what was it, the GCW show? Our girl Tracy was sitting in front of us, yeah, too. Yeah, was right there. Yeah, we're having fun with her as well. That's what I'm talking about. The Twitter relationships are great, and it connects you yeah. with more friends that you love wrestling, and it's such an experience, and I love it. And, and the show Wrestling for a Cause that I did in February, we took over the front row, and it's all on video, and we were loud. <laughs> Oh yeah, you were. We were loud, and the wrestlers were loving it. And I, I was like messaging a bunch of them the next day. I'm like, I'm sorry. They're like, No, do you, girl? We love it. They're like, Bring it. Like we, we love it. It's right because you don't want to go when the show's like dead. So whenever, right. of course. And then whenever like I go to a synergy show and Queen's not there, she hears me. I do. She hears me on the stream. <laughs> I do. I really do. I text her. I'm like, I know you're here. I can hear you. <laughs> I can't, all the tweets that I get from people, they're like, I hear, I hear your EVP giggles. I hear her. I hear her. I, hear, I can like, hear her. <laughs> and then the best is they're like, uh-oh, uh, number one husband is coming out. So I hear her. I hear her. So I <laughs> love it. But oh my goodness so we have been almost an hour queen yes, like mama. <laughs> we can keep talking forever me and her i just I know we really know, can it's just our love for wrestling and again like i appreciate everything that you do i, I love you to death get the fan hey, lose the, the husbands fan. i can't wait to see you again like Same. oh we need to get on our wrestles hopefully we will soon. we will soon but until then we still have all of this great stuff and we can still hang out and, and watch the shows together. And, and that's super good as yes. well. It's not the same, but it's still good. <laughs> <laughs> so tell everybody where they can find you. Oh, you guys, 
Well, firstly, thank you so much again for having me. So much fun speaking with Always. you. You know, I love you. Um, you guys can find me at the Queen of Any on Twitter. That's my main source of social media. At Instagram at x the Queen of Any. And my show, Queen's Court, drops every single Wednesday as one half of the hashtag Queen and Pup connection on Smart to Death Radio. Awesome. Awesome. Go give her love. I've put all the links as well on in the description for you guys. And oh, man, it was great. We'll have Queen come back on. Like I said, hopefully we'll get some more uh, bigger names because I love doing them with Queen. It's always a good time for under the ropes. Um, so look look out for that stuff guys go support independent wrestling go support a dub go support whatever you're into guys it's just it's just a good time so but for now guys thank you so much like share subscribe leave your comments below and we will talk to you guys soon bye